New tonight, a lesson in history and hope. The Omaha Star has informed and uplifted the North Oak community for more than eight decades. But did you know it's the only remaining African American newspaper in Omaha, and it's the only one still printed in the state? KETV Newswatch 7's Delon Dillard has tonight's Project Community History and Hope Report. The printer has not stopped. Piles of papers dating as far back as the 1930s fill the archive room of the Omaha Star. This is a family of the week. We talk about everybody from the dog and the cat all the way to the baby. Nestled in North Omaha, the paper first hit the presses July 9th, 1938. That's a long time, 83 years almost. Publisher Terry Sanders upholds the rich tradition of the Omaha Star. It is an honor to be here. But the original mastermind is this woman, Mildred D. Brown. She was a very elegant lady. She was the voice of North Omaha. Back in the 1930s, 1940s, where was a black person going to get their news from in a predominantly um, white area? Nowhere. No one really catered to our news. No one featured us. I'm told the Omaha Star is the first black woman owned newspaper in Nebraska. And since 1938, every publisher has been a black woman. Ms. Brown's focus in every issue was positivity, something the black community needed in the 30s and 40s, and today it's still needed. A lot of news has gone on in the country over the years, but she focused on the good news, the positive news, the people-centered news. That is my focus here at the papers. The star remains that vibrant voice in North Omaha. Mrs. Harrison, a charming young matron. Sanders continues to turn the page and carry Brown's mission. I think these stories give hope. They give a positive light. Obviously now there is not much hope in the world. There are not many positive things. And if you can find positive things right where you live, that gives you a thread to hold on to until the fabric gets to be more. Reporting in North Omaha, Delon Dillard, KETV, News Watch 7.